Ron Romaine is a familiar name in the Evansville area, where almost everyone has heard of Ron's business and charitable endeavors. As president and CEO of United Companies, Ron heads United Leasing Incorporated, Romaine Automotive Group, and Professional Transportation Incorporated. While his name is familiar, few people know how this community leader began his road to success. Ron took those first steps alongside his father. Bob Romaine was an innovative, hardworking, determined entrepreneur with a commitment to treating people fairly. Working with his dad gave Ron a valuable roadmap, not only for business, but for life. Ron started working for his dad at a very young age. Um, I don't even know if he could drive yet, but he was uh, basically the lot boy for his used car operation, Bob's Motor Sales. And he loved that job. And, and he will tell people all the time that was one of his favorite all-time jobs, getting the cars ready for his dad. Clearly, that early experience uh, had an impact on me. I was interested in what he was doing, and I knew even at that early age that I wanted to be involved in our business because I had this sense, I don't know why it was, but I just had this sense that this was something that I wanted to do. Ron learned from his dad that you had to work hard to get what you needed, what you wanted, that there was no free lunch, that is for sure. He, he got his work ethic from his father. My father and I approached business in a fairly simple way. We had one central strategy, if I had to boil this all down to one common theme, and that is growth. Uh, we, we really had a, a, a vision every single day coming into the enterprise that we were going to grow the business. Over the 25 to 30 years that Ron and his dad worked together, his dad was so proud of the accomplishments that they made and the decisions they made together. And if he could see Romaine Cross Point right now, he would just be so proud. Most people um, think that we're just um, associated with cars. And one day, Ron and his dad were at lunch with a, a man from CSX Railroad. And they were talking about different scenarios. And this man talked about needing to haul crews from one location to another and Ron and his dad got the wheels turning and thinking, and the next thing you know, we have a crew transportation company, and it's called Professional Transportation. This thriving business is a prime example of Bob and Ron's ability to transform an idea into an opportunity. Located in United Companies Evansville headquarters, the Professional Transportation Call Center links 130 sites in 26 states. What really motivates me and, and drives me, I guess, is uh, the fact that we have an enterprise that's growing, it's vibrant, uh, people within the enterprise are contributing to it, and it's not just about Ron, it's about United Companies, and they get as much enjoyment out of the success that we have, really, as what I do. I had a, a real interest in business. Uh, I think I recognized it when I was 12 or 13 years old, as I think back on it now. But I would have uh, loved to have the opportunity to learn more about business, just some of the basic fundamental concepts of of marketing, maybe a little bit about management. Uh, there's no question that I would tell uh, a young person to get involved in junior achievement. I believe that JA is uh, very important to this community. You know, we're trying to develop future leaders and we're trying to develop uh, future business people. Uh, business, uh, let's face it, that's what sustains most communities. And the better education we have centered around uh, business for young people, the higher likelihood I think that we have of being successful long term as a community, and particularly as a business community. The best advice I can probably give somebody, and this is a little bit of an old adage, but it's one that I think is timeless, and that is to simply find something that you have some passion about and go about doing it. Uh, too many people seem to be forced into something that really is not where their heart is. And when that happens, the consequences usually just uh, are, are, are failed. Uh, so if you have an interest in something, no matter what it is, I don't care if it's music or if it's sports or if it's business or if it's the sciences, you know, whatever you, you, you think that you're going to have some uh, strong interest in, that's the path that you should go. And uh, don't slow down. Go as fast as you can. Look to grow as much as you can in that particular area. Grow your skills, grow your knowledge grow your relationships because all that's going to help you ultimately become successful.